Look at this stuff. Some cereal. It's supposed to be good for you. From an early age, I can I can recall watching watching television and critiquing how uh, commercials were edited. This was something I, I really uh, I really had interest in and, and some passion about. And then when I understood more about the business implications, about the opportunity to be relevant to some significant issues in our society, in our communities, that's what really sealed it for me. He likes it. He likes it. I thought coming into school that, that my future would be in production, whether it was advertising or film or TV, and I saw a real opportunity to learn about different writing styles, production, electronic, print, getting insight and, and real grounded experience uh, you know, as part of the Oklahoma Daily advertising staff. That was extraordinarily valuable to me then and it continues to be now. Well, there's, uh, there's an old saying that uh, to, a, to a hammer, everything's a nail. If you see a problem uh, and you're an advertising agency or a PR agency, that uh, the instinct might be to solve it with advertising or PR work. Being on the corporate side opened the door to look at different solutions. And some, some problems could be solved in very different and very creative ways. When I joined Travelers, it was to lead uh, the communications function with this organization that was, um, you know, very well known. And with my passion for advertising and, and, and brand management, it was a, a, a great gift to be able to uh, bring back one of the great business icons of all time, the, the red umbrella. Travelers, insurance for auto, home, and business. You know, as part of that effort, uh, we had a, a terrific ad campaign that the, the team uh, put together, and we were able to earn, in fact, um, you know, a couple of Emmy nominations, but more importantly, it really drove some key business metrics that meant a great deal to, to the company and, and to me as well to be able to deliver on this. When your insurance is in sync, you can roll with anything, travelers. Well, for, for the last many years, I've described myself as a, an Oki in exile, and so while I would pursue my career and have pursued my career uh, you know, around the country, I certainly was not heartbroken to come back to Oklahoma. When the opportunity came up to be part of Devon, um, I just couldn't pass it up. When you work for a company like this and with facilities like these, it's, it's not something you're entitled to. It's really a standard to live up to. For me at Devon, in the job as the Chief Communications Officer, we're really the face of the company for many of, the, of our neighbors. You know, the, the issues that we try to pay attention to are, are helping people understand the way the drilling is managed. Everything from what's happening at the drill site to what's happening in the roads that lead up to it. It, it may be a little silly, but my leadership philosophy for many years has been uh, think big, do right and kick butt. You know, think big is that our job is not just to produce stuff. Uh, everyone that's in this kind of a role uh, understands that. It's to think about the connections uh, with your audiences, with the business needs, with the risks, with the trade-offs. Uh, do right because it's not always easy to do that. Sometimes it's not easy to tell what the right thing is to do, but it's something we always have to strive for and kick butt uh, because it's always more fun to win. The experiences I've had in advertising and media relations, in production, et cetera. Those things have all come together in ways that I couldn't have really planned or expected, but it really made a difference for me. What drives success is different for each person. You know, that, that foundation is strongly based in those opportunities given to me while I was a student at the University of Oklahoma.